hello welcome back to my channel here is a flip through of a birthday journal today that I have for you it's a family history journal the lady who it's intended for is she does family history and researches family tree and so I've tried to include lots of places for photographs and also a lot of places where she can journal or add bits and pieces any documents um, birth certificates marriage certificates anything else receipts um, to where she's traveled um, <clears throat> it's taken quite a while it should have actually been ready for june but I didn't know where to stop. I kept doing extra pieces to the point where all the pieces aren't actually fit in there. Um, so I have ne I have had to do a box to put the pieces, the extra pieces in the overflow. So when you when I show you what's actually in the box, you will see why it's taken so so long to do it. Um, so now my intention is she can I've left the album quite empty um, compared to what there is and what she can do is then she can then add whatever she as she's filling in the bits and pieces adding photos uh, adding to the journals she can take out of the album or put into the album what she wishes so I hope she likes it when it's when she actually gets it. I will let her flip through there. I will before I do the flip through of the album, I will just go quickly through the kits that I've used, the digital kits, the papers that I've used for this album. Now there's two uh designers that I've used. I've actually used the full kits from and also I have used the templates to make the album from Genevieve Designs uh, basically amazing the charming I believe it is the yes the charming I will put all the links below in the description box below um, so you can go check out where the designers where I've had them from and you can check out their kits um, so let me just get started because it's quite a quite a big journal what to do with the papers oh here they are now the two designers that I've used these are the main backing papers that I've, pa I've decorated the album with are from it's something shabby from Artie Mays and the family journal history keeping part is from my porch prints the family history journal I will just do a quick flip through of the pages at the kits I will also add that I do actually print them very often two to a page and four to a page because they make if you print them two to a page they make excellent mats and if you print them four to a page you can actually get some nice uh, journaling cards and some of the toppers shrink down so small you can actually use them for your little scrap hits and your stamp and like the clusters that you which way is this going to be better okay so I'll start with oh, the camera can actually keep pick up the colors because it's quite bright in here today Love this page, page. This page it's actually it's lined, so you can do your journaling on there. 
The lined ones actually use those to back a lot of the papers so that the nice pretty pattern uh, papers you've got on one side and then you've got on the other side you've got some journaling space. Then we go, she's, um, Andrea has also included a full set, that, those are all the coloured, the coloured pages. You then get in the kit another full set that are like, it's like a sepia tone. So you've got like a vintage, the old vintage feel to them. Again, that page is excellent to back your papers and your tags for journaling spots. fantastic backing paper or backing for your tags also because it's like quite muted but you still got the effect okay so those are the backing papers and as i say i'm not i won't flip through all of them um because they're just the same but i then print them two to a page so you get it's very near an A5. So if you can imagine, you've got like a big tag if you wanted a big, if you've got like a, an insert for anything you can use them for. And as I say, those, I just print those off two to a page. Make lovely inserts. And if you print them off four to a page, that's where they make some pretty journaling cards especially if you back them with the uh, the lined paper or the plain papers okay so those are the backing papers then i had the add-on kit which let me just get the because with these as well i print these out as well too uh, two to page and four to page as well but these ones are the full sized corner pockets my tag pocket These make excellent little booklets, which you'll see as I flip through some of the... Um, I've actually made these up into little booklets. Put coffee dyed paper and teapot dyed papers in. Some of the vintage postcards. Some nice big tags. These are actually big enough for you to actually put a photo on the back if you, if you wished. And then you get the full set again in the secret tone. Flip through quickly on that one.
So those were all the backing papers and the add-on kit with the pockets and the embellishments and So that kit's the one from Artie Mays and that is something shabby and also the add-on pages. As I said, I will put all the links in the description box below. Now, a quick flip through the kit that I use from uh, Stephanie from My Porch Prints. This is, these are the pages I've used to do the to record the family history. Uh, the, the backing papers I've used I've actually printed on Navigator 120 GSM, and these all the prints these and the ones from Artemis are printed out on standard Vivid. That's what my printer option is. So we've got the covers. And the uh, the pages, journal pages. Okay, so you can actually write the name of your family there, or there's a family history recorded by, and whoever's making the journal. Spot for the family tree, and there's great grandparents. Um, grandparents, father, mother and my spouse. Again, you've got the same one, but for, like for yourself. You've got an empty one there, so you can put added add to your family tree. That's on where you go, it records your children, their spouses and your grandchildren any notes that you may wish to put a note down some nice blank pages these are excellent for you to put your photographs if you've got any photographs on um, that you want to pop in or you can use them as mats or just a journal. Some lined paper. If like me, you can't write straight to save your life. These ones about your family members. So you've got spaces to put the name and any information about that person. Um, as I say, you can print as many pages off as you wish. In For this journal, I haven't actually made a journal from this kit. I have used these as separate pieces of paper. In many cases, I've folded them in half. So you've got the front and back. So that they can actually be added to. Whereas I thought if it, if it was a journal, you would be stuck to just, you know, once you'd filled that page up, that's as far as you could go. But if you're researching your family history or family tree, you know, it could literally go on and on and on and on. So I thought, well, the idea was if these were made as um, as a journaling card, they can be added to as and when um, the journal fills up or you want to add more to it. Spaces for your family, any funny stories or horror stories as some families <laughs> might have. Family traditions. A legacy that's a space where you can write all about yourself you've got your birthday your place any brothers or sisters your occupation all about your childhood space to write all about yourself and the exactly the same thing for your your other half and then you've got your children and your grandchildren. There's a page for your mother, your father, your great grandchild, if you have 
you have one if you have any grand great grandchildren and then there's one that's blank so that you, you can just add on there to whoever you want to add to your family tree your father's father father's mother mother and father mother's mother great grandmother on your father's side so you can, at least on these you can go as far back as you want because obviously as i say you've got the spare ones blank ones where you can add as far back as you wish okay and then i printed stephanie has a free download in her group um this goes with the family history so that is free in her facebook group that you can download that and i have used these as to put on the embellish some of the embellishments that you'll see as i go through okay so those are the papers and as i say i have used for the templates to make the album i have used genevieve designs um basically amazing charming but i've also used some of her, the add-on kits that she has for them and those are the photo mats the scrap journal and the shades of color but i will point those out as i go through the album okay so then hopefully we get to the album it's quite a chunky monkey oops quite the chunky monkey i've the closure i have put it a ribbon but i've left it so that it can be untied so that it can be let out as much as it needs to be because it's already as it looks like it's bursting at the seams but you would you wouldn't believe how chunky it was when i tried to stuff everything in there so on the front cover we have uh i've decorated in some uh chip uh, chipboard or wooden uh, corners painted them in chalk paint in a uh, eggshell blue um use some paper flowers in the front this is actually a pocket that opens up it's held together with a magnet so it shouldn't come flying out in the front pocket i've put a file folder that has a tab which can she can put which whatever she wants on there um there's the butterfly with some bling on the body opens up i've backed that with one of andrea's um backing papers that was in the something shabby kit the file folder is actually from one of uh, genevieve's from the you get in the templates one of the templates okay that's in that pocket there as that comes out there's a little photo mat again the papers used there is from artie mays and i've just chopped a piece off with the wording just backed it plain on the back so that a photo you could pop a photo on the back if you wished also in the corners there's two little resin butterflies um, and there's two gem dots in the corners there these also actually just there's like a bulldog which has got a bulldog clip and there's a it's got caught on the other side there's a dangle a tassel which can actually be it's got a lobster claw so that can actually be taken off as well that doesn't have to stay on there but that just opens up okay here we go so turn the page inside all the papers are used inside from Artie Mays 
unless I actually I will specify this this actually backing paper is one of the papers that's supplied on the template for in Genevieve's uh, templates that you have to choose that as a backing because she has many different backings that you can choose from so in there there's a pocket that you can let me find something which you can pop in there I had to take a lot of the stuff out because like I said I couldn't close the album once I'd um, added everything in there so so we have that um, that also that's a little pocket there or say a little tuck, a little tuck spot or like a pocket that will hold a few things I better keep that handy because I've probably been using that again um, so that's just a pocket um, that does it's not interactive that's just fixed and glued at the sides for there there's a little bl uh, blue diamante butterfly in the corner there right next page we have I'm just trying to slide it over because it's quite heavy okay there we go so there we have it's in the front pocket we have a little flip out I don't know what you actually call it it's like a um, matchbook style um, booklet thing there's a butterfly can't actually see very well there but it's a raised puffy plastic resiny one on the back I've used the image off the backing papers of the Artie Mays something shabby inside we have photo mats which were used from I think that's from the photo the photo mats from Genevieve's templates and a labels I think that comes from the scrapbook the scrap journal part I believe I could be wrong again I've used I think there's three I think I've put three maybe what was the four? Oh no four so these I've put four pages in each of them so then you can add your, your photo who's in the photo but then I've left the back plain so that then you could journal who's about some whatever the photo you know what you may have been doing the trip you went on so there's four in that one and that one just tucks underneath okay so we have that that goes in the front pocket then this flips down it's magnetized so that one flips down and we have another little matchbook style I'm free to put another photo on now in this one I believe I've just left those free you can take those out and put whatever you want in there again I've backed those on with the Artie Mays backing paper photo mats off from the templates Genevieve's templates okay that the paper on this is actually what comes with the template kit the background that I chose I've left the pages the blank so that she could either add take some of the photo mats out of there and add them to the back there if she wishes or she could actually take the photo mats out and use it to journal on it was quite hard not to get carried away and embellish everything but then I thought that would take away there wouldn't be any space to put photos or journal so then it would kind of defeat the purpose now the page flips out so now we've got the place to put another photo and I've chose that so blank so that you could actually write who's in the photo or a little spot to put the journaling about who's in the photo on this side this is a part where I used from the scrap journal where there's slits that you can actually pop cut out to put your uh, photos documents in or whatever you decide to put in there so in the front page we just have 
it's just a plain photo mat again that's topped with Artie May's a cut off piece that was left over one of Genevieve's tags and a butterfly and a little flat back pearl or a gem I don't know if you can see that there oh, one of the lovely backing papers from Artie May's something shabby then I made a photo mat booklet that was actually the the backing paper was from that was from Genevieve shades of colour and then I put it back through the printer and used one of Stephanie's ink saving uh, kits which is just like text so I just put um, run it back through the computer uh, through the printer and printed the text on and just popped a flower on I did some baker's twine and a wax seal they're quite addictive once you get doing those and on there there's a couple of photo mats or journaling spots whatever Choose. put that one in there first okay so that's the first page and you turn it over I had to remove some of these because I said it was too too full so that will that's actually empty um but you can oh my God, let's shoot, please. so if you wish you can put pop one of those in there or you can pop something in there and that goes all the way down okay so that's what you got on the back on that back side and this side there's a pocket this pocket actually flips out to make a page so in the front pocket i have another one of those booklets um baker's twine round again uh, i printed off shades of color put it back through the printer and put some one of stephanie's um, ink saving text pages on again that's just blank photo mats or journaling spots that's in the front pocket then uh, oh there's something else another one of those matchbook type books these are in the in one of the kits from Genevieve one of the basically amazing ones I can't remember which one it's out of I popped a photo mat on some embellishments out of Artie Mays. I think the better butterflies are out of that's a I can't remember that's a freebie out of Artie Mays Facebook group. Okay, on the front again, popped a label from Gen that that comes with a kit out of Genevieve's butterfly from Artie Mays. Inside, I've got t uh, tickets and tags. From various places okay I'll we'll get them all out we'll literally be here forever and which is in here so then in the pocket itself is a little file folder and in each side there's just like this corner tucks and I've popped one of the file folders in each side so I can pop either a bunch of photos or any of the journaling cards that are, I will show you in the box that can be popped in there I've just left, left it empty as I said I have to take everything out because it was getting too chunky so then I've just left this flat um, plain so that a photo can be popped on there. Fold it over and we have a pop. 
pocket that that's magnetized so that just stays closed let me just get back in shot there's a butterfly in the corner a butterfly on the corner there which i've just I actually went over that with some glitter nail varnish old glitter nail varnish i had that was really really thick popped some acetone in thinned it up a bit and makes fantastic glitter paint okay so inside now we have a there's a belly band that's backed with Artima, one of the backing papers out of Artie Mays. Popped a, a gemstone sticker on. And that's just a file folder from one of Genevieve's, the template that you, you will get if you buy the kits. They're basically amazing from the add-ons and the bits and pieces. I can't actually remember which part of, because I've actually got all of them. So I don't, I can't remember which is from which. Okay, so that's that. That then flips out. And we have that again. We have slots where you can pop different things in there. Journaling card with photo mat. Pop that there. And we have another one of those where you've got the photo mats. And the wax seal okay okay on this page pretty um simple photo mat and i've left a space for a journaling to pop a name date whichever another one of those gem stickers and that folds back okay. and it just repeat the album just repeats it uh, itself it's as the same as the first section that's repeated four times through the album so this one i've just decorated it differently in the in artemis papers so i will just go through that a little bit quicker um otherwise I want to bore you to death. Okay, that's pops down again like that. Let's go another one of those matchbook with photo mats in. That's just held there because the page is magnetized. We have more of these little matchbook type things with more tags. Another one of those. Artie May's lovely papers. much the same so it's just a different color way this one's pink and this one pink this slot goes sideways so you can just pop that in there's any bigger documents or photos that will go in that way So I left these pages plain so that photo mats can be placed on there or journaling spots, whichever. Again in there, it opens up. This particular pocket is just blank. I've left that blank so it can be filled in with whatever she wishes to put in there. Did I put that on here? I did put that. This one, again, this is pretty much the same. Pop 
one of those. It's pretty much the same as the other ones with the photo mats. Again, that's exactly the same. It's just got one of those. So that just put that insert pops in so then it makes a page. And just pop that in. Okay, blank. Oh now this one on left. This one is actually a photo map book. Um so this is one of the add-on kits from the something shabby from Marty Mays when you make it up you've got the pocket um, you've got the label and you have the tag pops in that I foiled I used a glue stick to go around the edge and some I can't actually see it's the box frame I don't know what I've done with it but then it's just like some foil that you have like nail foil or the foil art you just literally pop it on the glue stick while it's wet and then you just pull it off and it gives that's like a, in a if you haven't got one of those foiling machines that's does quite a quite a good job so inside there we have i've used the uh, swatch book this is a different template from genevieve designs it's the swatch book version 2 and that's what i've used to make this photo album so that's the front that's the back and inside get the middle so it actually folds out like a concertina that's you print the whole sheet this all sheets out like that so i've just printed multiple put them back to back and it's a fold out photo album the other side it's exactly the same okay and that just pops in there and all together with a magnet can't remember whether I showed you that but that just opens up same those are pockets that you can pop things in quickly again that's pretty much the same flips down you've got the matchbook uh, matchbook photo flip another one there I've got to say Artie May's um, Something Shabby Kit has worked absolutely fabulous in this album. Absolutely. Um, I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. Okay. These are just photo mats, just a plain photo mat. It doesn't flip out, it's just flat plain. I've just used one of the cut, uh, left off pieces to mat the top on that one. Okay, and the top one, that's the same. Okay, another flip out page. Near the end there. Okay, and that's another belly band. Just pop some tucks in there. Okay, and that's magnetised, so that just pops flat. And then the back pocket has got the back has got another pocket, so that things can just be popped in there popped in there and also there's a little tuck spot there 
I've used some Cortex flowers, fussy cut them and use them to as embellishments on there. On the back, on the back page, we have. I've put there's a pocket, and I've just popped one of those little booklets in. On the front, well, at the corners, there's a two resin gemstones and a resin flower and some bling for the butterfly's body. So that is the extremely chunky album. Now for the bits and pieces that I couldn't fit in. Let me put that somewhere safe, which is not going to be very easy. So then, as I was saying, I did so many things that they wouldn't fit in the album. So I ended up making a box to put them all in. <laughs> so I used the same flowers. Let's see if I can do I ended up using the same flowers for to top the box. Used, as I said, some wooden embellishments for the corners a photo frame I've just painted them all in chalk paint that's like an oatmeal biscuity colour one and the the base colour is an egg eggshell bloom the butterfly I've just topped in after I chalk painted I went over with some spectrum war sparkle to give it just a little bit of a added sparkle Around the edge, I've just put some flat back pearl trim. So I will now go into the box. And my goodness is full. So <laughs> there's five books, little booklets I made. Now this is where I said when I shrink the pages down to the add-on embellishment pages from Artie Mays. I'll shrink them down to four to a page. So then I end up with a little booklet like this. And then you end up with little miniature tags. Little corner pocket, little the little corner ones. Pockets. So those big huge tags turn out to be little teeny tiny ones, little cute ones. Remember me saying that the little booklets? Mask the envelopes. I'm trying to twist and turn without getting cramped because I keep getting cramp in my hands. One of the postcards. Popped in there. And the little toppers actually they come out like, like I said, they they're like little tiny stamps. This one's with the the sepia tone papers that I used from the something shabby. Made a little pocket on there. Just trying to get keep it in shot. Another little pocket. Those are little travel tickets that have actually comes out and pops in there.
okay and i was going to put some charms on the end of there but i thought if you wanted to pop them into the album then that would probably get in the way or end up making it even more chunky so i've just left them plain the edges i've gone round again don't know if the camera's picking that up but i went round with the glue stick and then just got some of the foil the art foil stuff and just popped it on and then just pulled it off and it just stuck where the glue was wettest There's actually, I won't go through all of them because they're all the same. And there's about, there's uh, five of those that I made. Then I made, I don't think I actually put any of these in the album because I had to take them out, they were too bulky. But they're little matchbook pocket type things. Um, places where you can journal there's tea stained papers that i've popped in there that can be journaled on or put photos on there's a wax seal on there with one of artie may's butterflies from a freebie and the on the back there's a pocket page a pocket with a tag which have just been left plain There's actually, oh, I can't, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I ended up doing nine of those. So I'll just show you the backs because they're using the Artie Mays um, backing, uh, the papers from the kit. I just wanted to show that they're, they're so, so delicate, so pretty. Those are the journaling tags. Then these are the surplus matchbook tag matchbooks that I had left over. They're out to take out because there's a photo mat on the back of each one that can be have photos popped on. So there's those. Then I made this is quite a few those flip out books that i made um photo albums i made quite a few of those but these can all be kept in the box anyway that goes along with the album that can be kept alongside I won't show the insides of them all because they're all the same. Might be a different colourway. That one's using the sepia tone on a pink backing. It's not that, it's that one. Then I ended up doing a booklet, a little journal. That's just that's just plain. I just printed the pages off, edged it with the same way that I did the tags with the glue stick and the this one's a holographic.
foil. But the pages in uh, Artie May's The Something Shabby Kit, they're just, you don't even need to add anything to them. They're just... Lovely standalone journals. quite a lot of the the lined paper as i was saying they're ideal for printing off um if you want to make a a, a writing journal that's not heavily embellish, embellished notebook then I added some tags I printed some more tags off so that she can from the Genevieve templates so that she can just pop like if she adds the photos she can put a name tag or whatever she chooses I've also added some baker's twine so that any of the tags she wants to make up she can use to match the rest of the album then to fill for the family history part i have so i have put them in separate folders we've got the f i've used the shades of color to back the pet like uh, just a, a regular envelope and i've just backed it and i've used the papers the pages to i've cut them out individually as i say and i've just stuck them to the front to make a cover and on the front of this one it says a family history recorded by which should pop a name and then those freebie tags as i said from that you get from stephanie's my porch prints facebook group that's free in there um popped one there with a flower embellishment there's a butterfly embellishment there one of the t the i've just left one of the lined papers there so that she can write a list an inventory list that's what's in the pages in this particular one i've popped the pages as i say i've left them blank and i've cut them in half and just left them so they can be slotted in and stacked up as many as she wants i've just backed them with the lined paper on there so those that one's just full of lined paper, I think. So that basically, that's like a little mini journal with loose leaf papers that she can add as and when. So that's what's in that one. In this one, I've left that blank so that she can write whatever title she wishes on there. Again, I used one of the um, images from Artie May's, um, from the Something Shabby Kit. Um, one of the words from My Porch Prints freebies and a fussy cut, one of the fussy cut flowers. In this one, this one's the family members. So I've literally, I've put printed them all off 
back them with one of the plain papers. So I keep forgetting I'm not out of shot. Uh, family stories. And planes. I can put some photographs. And add some journaling. Family traditions. A legacy. So you get the idea. It's just... I've left them loose so they can be added, shuffled round, put in wherever she wants. She's not limited to, you know, that's how, how it's supposed to be. And she can make the album personalised. She can do it however she wants. Pop them in. So that's in that folder. Then this one, do another little folder. They're just using A5 envelopes and I've just used the backing papers to cover them. And as I say, I've just left them loose. I haven't done them in like a journal per se. Um, in this one, I've also I printed them. I can't remember the print. I think I've printed these ones too to a page. So then they come up as little. I've folded them in half and I made little journaling cards. I just folded them and glued them back to back. So they're basically they're the same as these, but shrunk down to two to a page to make little journaling cards. They're quite cute, you could just pop them in. So that's in that one. This one, I think I left this one to document the family tree. go through them all because they're all pretty much the same as I showed you in the the kit and I'll flip through the pages but basically I've left those so she can either keep them in the foils as they are and keep them in the box or she can fill them in one by one and as she fills them in add them gradually into the album along with any photographs that go along with anything that's any information that's found out or any births or marriages so that is the overflow box and the birthday journal so if you're still with me at this point thank you for sticking for sticking with me this long sorry it's been so long it's so uh, long-winded but there's so much that I wanted to show out of this project and all the papers and the templates to show everything that went actually went into it um, as I say Artemis papers I think just th there were pretty much made for this kit in my opinion they were made for it, it everything just went I didn't have to think about where I went what went where it just literally just went together beautifully so thank you very much for watching and hopefully the next video won't be as long my next project so 
thank you for watching bye